Welcome to the Garima Aftar show. In today's episode I have with me Jaya Lakshmi Sarikonda who is an international archer to win a gold in Asian Cup and a silver at the Asian Championships. She has won a bronze twice at the Junior World Championships. She has been in the game for the past 20 years and she was honored with Shiv Chhatrapati Sports Award which is the highest sporting award given in Maharashtra state. Thanks for joining me Jaya Lakshmi. Such a pleasure to have you Thank on. Thank you ma'am. Thank you for having me on your show. Okay, coming straight to you know your journey, what motivated you to get into archery? Uh it was my father who motivated me. He is a sports enthusiast and a basketball player himself. Okay. But uh yeah, so but uh depending on his parents and keeping in mind the facilities back then, he could not uh continue his uh, sporting journey so he wanted his both his kids to you know continue with sports but uh, both me and my brother were into archery he left wow. uh, midway some few years back yeah after winning a national medal he left archery and i continued wow are, are you the older one or the you the younger one i'm the older one i'm oh, the, the older, older one. one okay wonderful yeah though he looks elder <laughs> <laughs> girls yes. look prettier no so the, they look younger only so the, yeah absolutely <laughs> okay so what are the skills you think are needed to be a world class archer you know like you um relentless quality practice okay and uh, perseverance and patience and proper coaching diet recovery everything come into play Wow, superb! So many uh, important things uh, you have mentioned here. Yes. Can you please uh, throw some light on you know little uh, every uh, subject. Ah, uh, see, ah, uh, this ma'am, see, this quality practice, like just going to the field and shooting arrows after arrows after arrows, doesn't make sense. Every arrow mm-hmm. you should put proper process, proper shooting form should be there. and uh, after you come back your diet should be proper your recovery should be proper and also you, you need proper coaching proper uh, technical uh, alignment of the bow should be proper your shooting it doesn't matter if the shooter is perfect or not the bow should be tuned as the archer needs it so there are a lot of things that go into being a world class archer okay awesome so as you said uh, uh, regarding fitness and diet so what according to you uh, the diet uh, that you follow uh, and the fitness regime that you are fo- following you know as per your training when we have a uh, three days a week strength training and two days cardio and uh, saturday sunday is an off okay okay so this is the fitness regime uh, yeah the muscles are split the training strength training the muscles are split like biceps and triceps on one day the chest and back on the other day legs and shoulders on the third day so it's like that and two days we have cardio and okay. then saturdays and sundays are off and diet is a uh, low carb diet or uh, and everything all things healthy basically Wow so definitely I mean we don't it's not a weight game actually archery is okay. not a weight game so we we don't have to worry about the weight and like boxing and wrestling and other combat sports so sure. but eating a healthy diet maintaining a fitness regime is always good so i think you need a lot of uh, strength in your shoulders arms and all the stuff biceps and, and lower back yes and lower back and back as well standing straight yes. and then you aiming so yes. your eyesight also i think has to be very uh, sharp and yes i said it also has to be good your concentration has to be good meditation is also a key hmm yeah you you need so, your focus and uh, concentration also on point so meditation is the key you need to meditate every day at least half an hour after waking up is a good start hmm sure sure so the uh, meditation uh, generally i have seen a like, lot of athletes do meditation and i'm sure there's uh, yes you know uh, a general myth about it you know like myth in the sense like a you know how uh, uh, you know the weight is practiced so how do you practice i mean it's basically breathing i do pranayam it's right. breath breathing exercises yeah. pranayam okay normal basic breathing exercises that's it wow so are you able to do it religiously every day or i mean so discipline is as yes yes uh, it's very important yes. so are you able to i do it religiously every day I do it religiously. And you see the, the first uh, thing I do after waking up. Sorry. Sure, 
Sure, you see, I, I'm I'm sure then you must be seeing the results because when you do it every day, then you know consistency, you know, really, really actually uh, helps. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, so during your journey, any advice that you've got, you know, uh, during your training or from your elders that has really benefited you? So please tell uh, us. It was my father. Hmm. It was my father. He always says, wherever you go, no matter whatever you do in life, no matter what part of the world you are in. never forget your ultimate goal wow so okay. this yeah this just got to me and i i always remember this okay okay fabulous so um uh, please tell tell me you know i'm sure you must have you know learned a lot from your journey and uh, training and you know you go for these competitions so anything that has happened during your uh, training or during any competition uh, that has you know kind of changed the way of your thinking or anything in your personal life that has happened which is you know which which you like to share any learning that you've had on your journey yes definitely uh, in my sporting journey i've had my share of ups and downs and i started really young at the age of 8 and i'm 28 plus i'm uh, 29 running now and uh, i've seen many ups and downs i i in the very first year itself i was in the state team for the nationals i won a silver medal in my first national level tournament wow. i got selected for the indian camp and uh, i was there for the first uh, junior world championship okay that uh, happened in turkey back in 2008 so that was my international debut wow so that then that, i went on to at the, yes. so you were you were telling i was me. around say Yeah, I was ten, eleven years of age. Uh, yeah, awesome. Back wow. then, yeah. Then I played uh, continuously for five world championships. Okay. I got two bronze medals in the junior world championships. Then uh, in two thousand ten, I won an Asian Cup gold and silver. Then in two thousand fifteen, I won an Asian Championship silver. And then recently, few weeks, uh, just two weeks back, I was in Taiwan and I'm ranked eleventh over there. Oh wow! Just two weeks back. Just two weeks back, I got back from Taiwan. Okay. Super, super. Yeah. So, so okay. all I could say is patience and perseverance is the key. Hmm. St- uh, sticking to one thing for twenty long years is a is a task. Definitely, I mean, you know, to be so yes. dedicated to your game and you know to your goal and. Uh, you know definitely it yields good results definitely and uh, that's how you've reached the world you know uh, championship and you won uh, you you've done a nation proud actually so lakshmi what's your message to the upcoming young yes. athletes my message to the young athletes is try and stay as much calm as possible in uh, pressure situations focus on the process rather than on the result and uh, be patient with time and just do your thing put in the work and be positive have self belief and uh, see it manifesting your way super such a great message thank you so much so let's come to the rapid fire questions now yeah yes you set all set yes <laughs> okay cool okay so your role model messi for his perseverance and grit super your favorite coach quotation ah uh, never give up documentary film that inspired you the most ah uh, not a documentary but pursuit of happiness is the film i like oh. the most oh that was awesome craziest thing yes. about archery anyone can do it like an infant not an infant a child to a older person can do it you mean to say any age group can do this any age group can do it okay uh one hidden talent cooking it's not hidden though <laughs> <laughs> yeah <But> yeah <laughs> what's your biggest dream to become a world champion best archery memory best archery memory was when i had just 7 seconds to go into the shooting line pull my bow aim it was crazy wind and oh. i shot the arrow and it landed in the 10 ring and i won the bronze medal at the world championships in ogden super wow that's the best memory so far yeah amazing most embarrassing moment 
oh god most embarrassing moment was the one uh, when me and a friend of mine we were for the world cup in uh, santo domingo hmm. and in the hotel lift uh, there was some other guy we don't know him and we were talking crap about him and uh, when he the was same about guy. to go off the lift said, <laughs> yeah the same guy when when he was about to get off the lift he said mai qatar se hu mujhe hindi aati hai we felt so embarrassed oh it's my so God. embarrassing or every word of it and then but it was all right we had dinner together later that night oh <laughs> he gave us a souvenir and stuff so it went oh. all right after I that tried very hard to impress you uh, girls uh, i'm sure <laughs> after listening to all the criticism and you know kind of yes <laughs> okay cool cool what's the proudest accomplishment so far uh this bronze at the world championships Super. I've had other gold and uh, bronze medals as well, but this one is the most special one. Sure, sure, I can understand. Yes. And with this, we come to the end of the show. Thank you, Lakshmi, for joining me in this absolutely amazing session. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you all for listening to today's episode with your host Garib Aftar. If you like this episode, then subscribe to my podcast for more new episodes and a deeper dive into the world of motivation and winning psychology. See you in the next one have a great day bye